that you understand how to set up your AES Direct account, it's time to understand how to file a shipment. Okay, I'm an open book. Teach me. The first thing I want you to understand is that AES, or the Automated Export System, is the large U.S. Customs and Border Protection System that collects export information from exporters like you. When you file your electronic export information, AES Direct sends your information to the AES. The AES will then send a response message to AES Direct, which AES Direct will send to your email. Okay, so the information goes from me to AES Direct to AES and then back again? Exactly. Now on to the ITN. In order to get your ITN, you have to log in to your AES Direct account and select Create New Shipment from the main menu. Notice that there's a white box in the upper left corner. You must complete the sections titled Shipment Information, USPPI, Ultimate Consignee, and Commodity Line. Well, at least I don't have to fill all of them out. No, you don't have to fill all of the sections out. But if you start filling out any of the other sections, like Intermediate Consignee, Freight Forwarder, or Equipment Details, then you must fill that out completely. It's all or nothing with those. What information is in the commodity line? The commodity line is about the goods that you're exporting. For this section, you'll need a commodity classification code. For information on how to get a commodity classification code, you should definitely watch the video Export Commodity Classification. Well, what if I don't know some of the information in these sections? Like, I don't know the port of export code for Savannah, Georgia, and that is where my pigs are leaving the country. When in doubt, click the Help link on each page and a menu will pop up to come to your rescue. For the fields that have that L in parentheses beside it, you have a lookup option. Just type a question mark and press the tab button in the field itself and a lookup menu will pop up. Type in the search bar the information you're looking for and the system will help you find it. Okay, so I just used the lookup option to locate the Port of Export code for Savannah, Georgia. It is 1703. That was easy. Is that all there is to it? Not quite. Once you're done filling everything out, you need to submit your shipment. Select View EEI and ensure that all sections are highlighted green. Choose Submit EEI and your shipment will be sent to AES. Well, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I still don't see where I have an ITN. Give the system about 15 minutes to process the information that you've submitted, and you'll get your ITN for this shipment in an email shortly. If you have any more questions, please feel free to give us a call back. Okay, but before you go, let me make sure I understand things. In order for me to file a shipment, I have to log into my AES Direct account and click on Create New Shipment. I have to fill out the sections for shipment information, USPPI, Ultimate Consignee, and Commodity Line. If I don't know some information, I can always click on the Help button, and for the fields with an L in parentheses, I can use the question mark tab lookup menu. Is that right? You got it. Remember that if you start filling out information for the Intermediate Consignee, Freight Forwarder, or Equipment Details, you have to fill everything out. After that, simply click View EEI and then Submit EEI and await the ITN. Okay, I think I understand. Is there any place I can get a general understanding of the rules and regulations? For helpful information about the foreign trade regulations, there's a great video called A Quick Guide to the Foreign Trade Regulations. I will definitely take a look at it. Thank you so much, Victoria. Great. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. The U.S. government is so helpful. Who would have thought it had been this easy?